In this video, I am going to discuss about various types of urinary incontinence. Coming to definition of urinary incontinence, it is inability to initiate or hold the act of micturition on will. There are various types of urinary incontinence. First one is true incontinence, second is false incontinence, third one is stress incontinence, fourth one is urge incontinence, fifth one is nocturnal enuresis, sixth one is functional incontinence, seventh is temporary incontinence, and last and eighth is mixed incontinence. True incontinence is also called as continuous incontinence in which Urine escapes continuously by day and night due to abnormal communication with the urinary tract and the causes include congenital abnormalities of urinary tract and urinary fissure like vesicovaginal fissure. The false incontinence is also known as overflow incontinence in which there is involuntary loss of urine following over distension of the bladder. The causes include after vaginal delivery, diabetes, neurological diseases like autonomous bladder, severe genital prolapse and post-surgical obstruction. Stress incontinence is also known as sphincter incontinence and it is most common type of incontinence seen in 50% of women. It occurs when pressure in the abdomen is greater than the pressure needed to keep the urethra closed. And the causes include weakening of bladder neck muscles and tissues occurring after childbirth, around the time of the menopause, or in some women because of weak tissues. Functional incontinence is a type of incontinence occurring due to limitations in mobility, thinking, or communication. The causes include older adults with arthritis. Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease. Sometimes incontinence comes and goes and this type of incontinence is called as temporary incontinence. It occurs due to specific conditions or as a side effect of a treatment for other chronic or acute diseases. The causes include severe constipation, infections in the urinary tract, and certain medications such as diuretics, muscle relaxants, narcotics, antihistamines, antidepressants, antipsychotic drugs, or calcium channel blockers. Nocturnal enuresis or bedwetting is normal until the age of 5 years. If it is seen after 5 years, it is often due to inherited disorder with a delay in neurological control of the bladder. Next type of urinary incontinence is urge incontinence. In this type of incontinence, there is sudden intense urge to urinate and patient has to rush to toilet. Associated frequency and precipitancy can occur. The causes include infections of the urinary tract and neurological disorder. The last type of urinary incontinence is mixed incontinence in which Two types of incontinence occur simultaneously, typically stress incontinence and urge incontinence. Mixed incontinence is most commonly found in women and what causes the two forms may or may not be related. Amongst these various types of urinary incontinence, neurogenic incontinence can present as overflow incontinence, urge incontinence, nocturnal enuresis or functional incontinence.